Hey guys, welcome back. I posted on my Instagram story a while back. If you wanted to see my thoughts on what fashion trends I think are gonna be around for 2021, that's what we're gonna be discussing in today's video. There are so many good ones and ones that I'm a little iffy about. So if you wanna see what my thoughts are, just keep watching. And I think to myself, what a wonderful the first trend that I wanted to talk about is making sweats stylish slash loungewear. I think this is going to be such a huge trend in 2021. It was a big trend in 2020, but I really think, oh, hi now. Oh, oh, <laughs> come on. You can come in the video. Are you making bread? Hmm? Can I have some bread? I love you. Anyways, I think that 2020 was the start of loungewear, but definitely not the end. 2021, making sweats super stylish by adding a leather jacket, a long coat, some fun jewelry, just anything to spice up a loungewear look. I think 2021 is definitely gonna be filled with that. Y'all already know I'm so down for that. I love wearing loungewear, sweatsuits, anything super comfortable. Really excited to continue with this trend in 2021. The next trend I want to talk about is zebra print. I feel like so many people are either going to hate it or love it. I'm somewhere in between. I really love the neutral zebra, but I'm not a huge fan of the white and black zebra. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I do really like the neutral ones. Let me know if you guys like that one. But I think zebra print is going to be so huge this year for 2021. Cheetah, snakeskin, you know, those prints have had their moments, so I definitely think it's time for like the zebra the tiger stripe that is definitely going to be huge this year and i want to emphasize real quick that these are just all my opinions and what i've been seeing coming into trend but who knows it may change i'm not you know a fashion guru if you will but i feel pretty strongly about most of these trends the next trend i want to talk about i already love and i have two of them already and that is furry like sherpa bags you guys this trend I am obsessed with. I don't know why, but I've really been into textures lately, and the furry bag just makes everything just look so much better. I've even styled outfits just around the bag because it is so cute. I think we're going to be carrying these from like right now until spring, and then back again fall to winter. I got mine off of Shein for like five or six dollars each. They're really inexpensive. They have bigger ones as well. I just got the two little shoulder bags and I can't wait to see how everyone styles them. Another trend I wanna talk about are the cloud socks. <laughs> I don't really know if that's what they're like called. They're just extra slouchy socks. I've shared them multiple times on my Instagram stories. I just think they're gonna look so cute with sweatpants, leggings, just any kind of comfy outfit. I definitely think the slouchy socks, like the cloud socks, are gonna make your outfit look super stylish and then also add just like a little bit of spice. The next trend I wanna talk about kind of ties in with making sweat stylish and then also like the slouchy cloud socks and that is New Balances. <laughs> I used to hate New Balances. I thought they were so ugly, but that's just the power of fashion. It's what I love about fashion so much. You can go from hating something to loving something with just like a few years in between. I think they're so cool. I've only seen a few people start to wear them, so I definitely want to hop on the trend pretty early. And I also don't have a gray pair of shoes, so it just kind of makes sense for me to buy them. Also, pro tip, if you are on a budget, look at the youth sizes. I'm a seven and a half in women's and I normally wear a five and a half to a six in youth. It just kind of depends on the brands, but definitely check that out because it will save you a little bit of money. I know with New Balances and Nikes and all that, it can get kind of expensive. I found a few styles that I think are really cute for under a hundred. I think they're right above $50. So I'll like put little pictures up here for you guys to see. Another trend for 2021 is baggy and straight cut jeans. I feel like this trend started in 2020. I know I got a pair I think around like August or September but this year I really think it's going to blow up. I feel like the majority of people are going to have the 
straight cut baggy jeans and at first I was not really a fan of it and I'm still I don't know, I like them but I just don't think my body type looks the absolute best in the baggy jeans but it's new it's different from a skinny jean it's different from like the flare jeans of course you don't have to go like super baggy in them or anything like that but I definitely think the straight cut jean is going to be here to stay the next trend I'm going to talk about is layering y'all already know i'm obsessed with layering if you follow me on instagram i love pairing turtlenecks jackets you know jewelry just anything to add to your outfit i used to be pretty like simplistic and didn't really want a lot of jewelry or added stuff to my outfit but for some reason i'm obsessed with layering i just think it gives your outfit so much depth and kind of gives like a storytelling vibe like i don't know i'm just obsessed with layering which leads me to my next trend and that is accessories obviously accessories have been around for the longest time but i feel like in years past we've been okay with just your sweater jeans shoes and maybe even a bag and we're good to go but i think this year we're going to prioritize accessorizing i know i've been really guilty in the past to be okay with you know just a simple outfit but here recently i've noticed that i've really been looking for bags jewelry fun shoes like little clips in my hair just anything to add to an outfit the next trend i want to talk about is leather i feel like leather has been around for the longest time but this winter and leading up into spring has been full of leather whether that is leather jackets leather tops leather pants leggings like the list can go on and on and i don't think that the momentum has stopped i think we're just rolling with it i think it is definitely going to last out through 2021 another trend that i use used to hate and now it's growing on me is flared leggings or pretty much just your yoga pants i was on the fence about them but i don't know here recently i'm starting to warm up to them i've seen emma chamberlain wear them other celebrities wear them and i think they are so cute they're really starting to grow on me and i've already ordered a pair so i can't wait to style them the next one i'm going to talk about I'm not so sure on and that is cutouts. I'm not for sure if it's going to be a huge trend or what but I have been seeing a few shirts and dresses with cutouts so it may be a trend in 2021. I'm just not 100% certain on this one. Two trends that I think are going to ease its way into 2021 are big frame sunglasses with either color lenses or colored frames as well as the 60s. I feel like these go hand in hand. Every single article, video, all of my research I've done have said that the 60s are going to start transitioning into this year and be super huge for the next few years. And I can totally see that. I've already started to see this on Princess Polly, Shein, like all of your fast fashion websites. I kind of like them. I think it's something new, refreshing, different, but I just don't know how I'm going to style them with like my taste. So I feel like that's going to be super fun. I love challenging my Myself with new trends I am so pumped for this one the last few trends I'm going to share are colors like I said I've done a ton of research and so many articles and videos have said that long white dresses are going to be the new LBD and just the color white in general so I'm really intrigued to see how this plays out in 2021 I've always loved wearing white I think it's so elegant and beautiful especially in the summertime when you're going to the beach and all that but they emphasize on long white dresses and then also like your very light pastel colors like the matcha color green baby pink baby blue just super pastel colors as well as hunter green mustard just your typical fall colors as well that is it for this video like i said i'm not 100 percent sure on these trends but i'm really excited to see how everything plays out let me know what your favorite trend or what you think is going to be the biggest trend of 2021 down in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one Bye guys. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.